Dee, 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 dee. Hi folks, yeah, just here. Just looking at some some little dishes I made a while back, and I've uh, so I'm starting to make a few more of them. These are slightly squared off, and these are thrown. These were actually thrown twenty ounces. But I'm thinking I'm going to perhaps change change that to, to 21 or 22 ounces. This one is very slightly deeper. Um, trim foot. Uh, engraved side that I do with a... Uh, what is it? Oh, here it is. It's a lollipop stick that I just cut some, cut some, some grooves uh, in the end, which I just put along the side of the while well, it's going around on the wheel before I make it go before I square it. Anyway, I'll be doing a few more of those. I'll show you as we progress. This is this is here is like a finished one. You see, wood ash exterior. This one's got a celadon on the inside. I quite like them. This one's the same, but it's it's just round, that one. I think I like them a little bit square off. Anyway, that wasn't what I was going to be doing. I was going to be making uh, here, so join me on the workbench. On the workbench, on the kneading bench. Well, I guess that's a workbench, isn't it? A kneading bench. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, have a sip of coffee at one of my new raw glazed mugs. Yeah, yeah, they come up quite, quite nice. Uh, these um, these tankards, no bisque. That's certainly a, a victory, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is. Um, and you can have a go at making one of these yourself. Basically what I'm going to do is make a chamois leather for, for your throwing um, that has got a float on it. So basically I've got some, some corks here that I've cut. Basically a regular cork I probably cut into like three pieces if you see what I mean. Um, so probably out of one quart you can get three floats. All right. So and then piece of uh, piece of chamois leather. Uh, I've almost got to the end of this piece now, uh, which I just simply cut up. A new one like this you can get at Walmart or somewhere similar. Don't don't get them if they're too thin and fine. If you're choosing a chamois, try and just have a look at it before you before you before you buy it or compare one with another you get one you don't want it sometimes they're kind of rough you know the leather's rough and sometimes it's it varies in thickness you don't really want that sort of consistent but nice slightly thick but not too thick i don't know if i can show you this i would say that this is 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 a good a good thickness and and it's it's nice and soft all right so choose your 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 chamois like that so what i've done here is i cut i've cut a couple of pieces here basically um these are around about seven inches seven inches were you in the picture down there yeah so, all right, so, um, so what I want to do, I'll put the ruler to one side. Uh, what I need to do now is I take, I take the one end of it and I, I bend it over onto itself like that, you see. Just double it on one end. And now, this is a hole bore. I'm going to Put a hole through the, the double thickness. 
Now you might think you don't need to do that, just put the screw through it and screw it through and everything, but if you don't put a hole, I've noticed that as you turn the screw, it screws it all up in a mess. So basically what I'm going to do is, this is pretty simple stuff, there's nothing very, I've got a washer and a screw. If you've got a round headed screw, so much the better. Mine is not round, my, these are flat, but if you had a round headed one, it would be actually better. So we're going to, just going to take that. Lick the screw out right, before you put it through. And then And basically what you want to do is just put put a couple of holes here, you see, just to facilitate that screw going through. You know what, you'd think it'd be dead easy, wouldn't it, wouldn't you? But you see as you as you as you do it, you discover you have to discover, do a one or two, I've done a few of these, and so basically, it's now gonna look like that. You see, something like that, I hope that's in the picture. Okay, so then, lick the screw. When I, when I used to live on a Greek island, I used to live on a Greek island once in the Mediterranean. Uh, I used to live on Gavdos Island and um, I was helping, I was helping a, um, I was helping a fisherman build a taverna down on the, down on the beach. And uh, I had to mix the cement and get the, get the, um, Get the sea water. We mix we mix the cement with sea water using the sand off the beach. How about that? Anyway, so yeah, but he used to be up on the rafters. He had one leg, and I'd be down below passing him this and that, you know. And in his mouth, he would have a mouthful of rusty nails that I had straightened out with a hammer for him, because they'd be bent, and he got them all straight. And he'd have them in his mouth, and he'd be salivating over these rusty nails and taking them out of his mouth and banging them in. And I, I learned that a bit of saliva helps a rusty nail. <laughs> well, also, it, it helps a screw, you know? Helps a screw thread. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit of a a start hole there for that. Probably don't need it, but and now I'm going to screw that into here. I screwed that in the wrong end actually. And actually what I need to do is devise a method to punch a clean hole through the leather. Because if you have the, the hole in the leather too small, you try and put a screw thread through it, what it does is it, it twists itself around the leather, the, around the screw, you see. Uh, I want to make it look a bit neat, neat and tidy. So... Yeah, so then when I do that, I then, on the, on the other side here, I put a, put a red, a red cross like that, you see. So you see it bobbing up and down in the, in the, in your water pot. All right, let's do one more, see if I can do a better job. Because that one wasn't all 
quite happy. Actually, to be honest, I think these screws that I'm using are a little bit, the, the thread is a bit, the whole screw is a little bit overkill, you know what I mean? It's a little bit too big, really. But, um, so you take the leather, I think about seven inches is about right. You don't want it too long, you see. And then, I don't know if this whole, this whole puncture thing I'm using is really, really the best thing to use for this, if I'm honest. So, screw, washer, These screws are a little bigger than I. I was just using what I had, you know. As one does, we are potters, are we not? We are. We are improvisers. We make use of what we've got. I don't want to go out to the store and buy something special, do I? Just going to make use of what I got. That's the way it is. Okay. Bring this up to the camera. So, basically what I want to do is get that to go in there like that. Then, take this guy and See what's happening, he's getting all, he's getting all, <laughs> he's getting all like I don't want him to get. Anyway, you'll be able to do it better than me. You're just getting, I'm just give. I'm just giving you an idea here. It, it's an idea, see I, see it looks a bit kind of untidy, doesn't it? I would, like, I would have liked it to look a bit better than that. It's gonna work fine, but I suppose the, if it works is the important thing. I just like it to look a little neater. Um, so you want a permanent marker and I just put a simple cross on there like that. I guess it looks all right. Okay. So then what we've got to do is I think I've got this idea and I'll give credit to the person who because this is this is not my idea uh, some years back somebody sent me this now I've forgotten who you are maybe you know who you are and if you do if you do if you remember you sent me this you see and I've used it for for a long time um, it's been it's been it's been it's been great so really mine is, is just, is basically a copy. I haven't put that piece of red, that piece of red, red material there. All I've done is just put a thing, but I, if you throw it in the water pot, if we, we'll do it, we'll just throw it in. You see, imagine we're throwing. So that is, it, it does, you've got to get the, the leather wet first because it, otherwise it floats. So I did that one. I did a few others. Uh, here's another one. That one's already from these guys here. I'll show you these. Oh yeah, there, there's another one. There's the one I did earlier. Another one. See, once the wet, the leather get what gets wet. He, that's all you see in your water pot, you see. Yeah. He comes up. It works, doesn't it? 
this le this leather's still got air trapped trapped in it, and that's why it's floating. But this one, the leather just sinks. You see, all you see is that little cork. Anyway, I hope that's been of some help to you. Have a go at making. Have a go at making. Uh, maybe better if it, if the screw head was here was like a, a rounded screw head and not a countersunk flat one like that one is. Uh, I think it would. I don't think it's going to make a big deal of difference to be honest, but. You know what I'm saying, it just looks a bit prettier, doesn't it? Okay, so make yourself, make yourself a chamois leather. Make yourself a, a floating, make yourself a floating chamois leather. Why don't you just? <laughs>